Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Auto Chris here at Jungie Automotive in Hiawatha, Iowa. And here behind me, I have a brand new 2024 Mazda 3. I'm gonna show you guys some cool tips and tricks that us sales guys forget to share with you guys. So as time goes on, you'll be like, I didn't know the vehicle can do that. You guys get the full experience from the get go. So let's get going. All right, so did you guys know that rain sensing wipers come standard for all trim levels for 2024? I know mine's blown. You'd be like, wow, that's crazy, Chris. Well, you do get it. It's pretty awesome. So you're out there, you're driving. Here comes the rain, you know, just woo. And then it just automatically wipes as you need it, as it sees fit. Now the question comes, Chris, I'm about to run the car through the car wash. How easy is it to disable that feature or turn it off on the get-go? Let's show you. All right, so here we are right inside the Mazda 3. We have it on and running. We're we'll gonna come right up here to the uh, wiper stick. Now you're gonna see there's gonna be a couple options. We got a mist, off, auto, low, and high. We're gonna be focused right up here at the auto. Right next to auto, there's gonna be an orange light. Now if that orange light is on, that means your rain sensing wipers are available. When it rains, they will automatically go. Now if you pump this up one, you'll see that it's off. Same with your wipers, because there's no orange light there. So they are temporarily off. Now, if I want to simply turn them back on, there we go, because I got done going through a car wash, and we're good to go. But now, let's say if you actually want to turn them off, off, never want to use them for any particular reason, that's all right. Mazda has allowed you the opportunity to turn these off. You get your center display right here. We're actually going to come down to the wheel. You simply go left and right to navigate through this, and you push that button right in. So we're going to go to settings. From settings, we're going to go down to vehicle settings. And then we're gonna come down here to rain sensing wipers. Uncheck that, now they're completely off. You can never use them from there. So there we go, There's two ways to do it. Let us know down below in the comments which one would you uh, prefer to do. Let's get to the next one. All right, so we're gonna focus on the driver's interface screen here. We're gonna talk about two displays. One's gonna be your fuel efficiency. You that's gonna be over here on the left-hand side. It shows you miles per gallon. So as you're driving, it's gonna show you lifetime fuel economy. The second one is gonna be your range display over here on the right-hand side. So you can see with the current gas tank, we have 22 miles to go before we go on empty. So we should probably get some gas in this. So there's a couple ways you can change this layout or you can completely turn this off. So right now we're in type one, so that's the visual. For the uh, type two visual, it's gonna look like this. Or if you don't like it at all, you can turn it off just like that, okay? Now, how to do all that? You simply come over here to the center display. We're gonna scroll down to settings. I'm gonna select settings and vehicle displays. Come down to your cluster display. As we're down here, see you got fuel on range display, it's off. You can simply scroll up to one or two or off, push in that wheel, it's selected, then you're good to go from there, okay? Now a little bonus tip. You can see right now your speed. You can switch it to a digital speeder meter if you want to. It's super easy. All you have to do is come right over here, see the info button, tap that bad boy a couple times, and then there we go. How cool is that? So sometimes there's gonna be two drivers in the vehicle and sometimes you guys would not agree how to set up the vehicle. Prime example, the Mazda Cruise Control Stop and Go. Some people love it, some people absolutely hate it. So the question is, hey Chris, is there a way I can turn off the Mazda Cruise Control Stop and Go and it's just standard cruise? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so we're gonna come over here now towards your center display screen. From there, we're gonna go down to settings. From settings, we're gonna select safety settings. Then after that, driver's assist system. So we're gonna select that. Then the first thing that's gonna pop up is Mazda radar cruise control. You can see there's a check mark right there, so it's uh, enabled. To disable that, you just simply push in, check mark's gone. So now it's just standard cruise control, but not slow you down to maintain that distance. Now you have visual confirmation that it has switched to as well, because you have this icon right here. It has a picture of a speedometer and an arrow locking in place. That means it's standard cruise control. Now, if it's adaptive cruise control, as I just enabled that feature again, you see it's a whole different icon. It has a picture of a car in front of, of the speedometer and the arrow. So now we'll actually slow you down to maintain that distance that you have set from that point. All right, so you have those different options from there. Now, 
Back could be pretty nice and easy. Once again, to turn off your cruise control, don't want to actually have available to use, you just hit that icon, um, that button right there, you have nothing up there, so you can't use either or from there, all right? So that's how you turn it off. Let's imagine you guys are out there right now enjoying the beautiful Christmas lights, or you can be at the drive-in theater, pull right in, watch a great movie, but the problem is though you're disturbing the whole experience because your daytime running lights are on. You don't want to turn off the car because you know it's hot or it's cold. You want to make sure everyone stays comfortable on the inside of the vehicle. So how do you turn off your daytime running lights? You're not ruining it for everyone? I'm going to show you guys that right now. All right, so you guys can see that your daytime running light's on. There's two ways you can go about to turn this off. One's a temporary fix and the other one's a permanent fix, okay? So it's all about situations. So let's say if I just want to turn it off now because we're there experiencing stuff now, but I want it on later, the easy fix would be to come over here to your light stick, how it says the auto, tip it to off. That's it, pretty nice and easy. So that's gonna be a temporary thing. Cause now when I put the vehicle into drive and get to a certain speed, your daytime running lights will automatically come right back on. Now let's talk about the permanent fix. If I don't want these on while the vehicle's in motion at all. So we're gonna come over here to settings, select settings, go down to vehicle settings, exterior light, come down to daytime running lights, and the boom, they're off just like that, guys. All right, so let's imagine you guys are out there running out to your vehicle right now. You're hitting the unlock button just to discover that your car's not unlocking because of one of two things. Maybe the car battery's dead, or maybe the key fob battery's dead. Now you have stuff in the vehicle that's not unlocking. How do I get in there to get my supplies out? Well, I have a way, let me show you now. All right, so first step is grab your key fob. You're gonna notice there's gonna be multiple sides to the key fob. There's gonna be a black one with a Mazda emblem on it, and then a plain black solid side. This is important because this is the lid where the key is gonna be at, all right? Now, you're also gonna notice there'll be chrome action versus buttons. Now, that's important to know because once you hit the release, you're gonna slide this cover back towards the button side, okay? Now, the release is gonna be right up here on the top. So we'll turn this around so I can access it. There we go. Button side, grab the top, pull it towards me, towards the buttons. As you can see, it's off a little bit, pops right open, and there's a key. So grab that key, and then we're gonna walk right to the door now. All right, so now we got the key. We walk here towards the driver's side door, and you come down and look around the handle, you don't see a keyhole. So now we're in panic mode, right? No, because it's hidden. All you have to do is come up here to the driver's side door handle, pull this bad boy up, you see a keyhole, you put that right in there and you turn it and it opens right up. Now you have access to the inside of your vehicle with a dead car battery or a dead fob battery. You're good to go, guys. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful to help you guys with your brand new Mazda, Mazda 3 sedan. Show you some cool tips and tricks. Also, I love to see it down below in the comments, which one is your favorite between all the options I share with you. Or maybe there's a particular feature you guys really enjoy in your guys' current vehicle too um, from there. Also do me a huge favor, hit that like, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe I'll have more information later on regarding these vehicles just to help you guys out in the future, okay? I'll talk to you guys then, bye-bye.